Hi everyone, it looks like it's right on the dot of the hour for me, so I'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I want to introduce myself. I'm Brittany Rohde, the People Operations Specialist here at GitLab, and this is the People Ops Functional Group Update on October 4th. Oops, let me grab over here. So our accomplishments over the last five weeks uh, have been Barbie Graver started as our Chief Culture Officer. We're very excited to welcome Barbie to the team and uh, get her input on all the different things we've been working on and see uh, you know, where People Ops is going to go in the future. So uh, we're very excited. If you haven't met or welcome Barbie, please feel free to do so in Slack or send an email. Uh, in addition, we've been uh, focused on summit planning and visas for Greece, which is coming up in two weeks, which is crazy that it's so quick. So if there's anything you need, uh, have any questions regarding the summit, um, any visas or travel arrangements, uh, any questions for those, please feel free to reach out in the Fall 17 Summit Slack channel. Uh, send an email to Kirsten Emma or to People Ops and we can assist you with that. We started career mapping uh, in our last uh, functional group update, we presented this, but I wanted to also present that we have continued doing this and iterating for different departments. So uh, development has been added to the career mapping and uh, the next silo that we'll focus on is sales to make sure that there are all the different positions and different transfer and promotion options listed out there. Uh, we'll continue to iterate on this. This isn't done by any stretch of the imagination, uh, but we wanna at least have something out there for managers and individual contributors to look at as they are developing their career paths. We also completed our performance review process. Uh, the cycle has closed. There was about a month for everybody to complete the reviews and then a couple weeks just to wrap up any last reviews that were coming in. So if you haven't met with your manager yet or you haven't received your review, uh, please reach out to your manager or to People Ops uh, to make sure that those meetings happen and also that you can see your feedback in Lattice. Uh, if you have any questions or technical difficulties, um, please reach out on Slack or open an issue, um, send an email to People Ops and we can assist you with that. The performance review process uh, completion is an accomplishment, um, but we uh, are constantly iterating as well on this item, and there is an open issue for uh, what we're going to do for the next iteration of these uh, for the next cycle. So if you're interested in uh, or have any feedback for the performance reviews, please uh, make a comment in that issue. People Ops uh, also collaborated and um, Barbie implemented our Q4 OKRs. Uh, we're very excited to get started um, on those items, but if you're curious what we'll be working on in the next um, quarter and for our next update, uh, you can go ahead and take a look there. We also established our German entity, so we will be starting the process to transfer all of our contractors to employees that are based out of Germany. There's an open issue. Um, if you have any questions on how that will work, you can please post in the issue or send up, uh, you know, if it's a personal question, you can always send that information to People Ops if you don't want it um, viewable to everyone. Uh, but we wanna specifically thank Paul and Jamie for, um, you know, rolling out this entity and helping us. There's also a contract listed already on the contracts page. So if you have any questions on the contract language or what the different terms mean, um, please feel free to reach out to any of us to walk through that. Uh, yesterday, we actually released our experience factor training. So we are um, asking managers to take a look at the employees and how they're um, uh, fitting within their job descriptions, how what their experience factor is for different requirements, and then taking the aggregate of that after it's all weighted and adding an experience factor to each of their employees to make sure we have accurate data. Um, how to do that and why we're doing it is all listed out in the handbook, so you can take a look and read through there. If you have any questions, we have Q&A sessions. Uh, there'll be another one today at 4 p.m. Pacific time and one next Tuesday at 5.30 a.m. Pacific time. So, uh, if, or if you can't make one of those two training sessions, you can also reach out to people ops with any questions, open an issue, et cetera. Uh, we encourage managers and individual contributors to attend these sessions um, as it helps us, you know, iterate and uh, work through the different guidelines that we have set up. And after each meeting, we commit whatever changes or questions that were asked into the handbook itself so that it's always live and up to date. One of our um, OKRs for Q3 was to develop and document benefit plans for each entity. So we went ahead and did that. We um, added in each of the entities we currently have and what the current benefits are. Uh, the next step in this will be to kind of develop what our guiding principles are when it comes to benefits and how we're going to continue to roll out benefits in the future. So the development hasn't stopped. It'll keep iterating. We'll 
put those guidelines out in Q4. Um, but for now, all of the benefits that we have for each entity um, are outlined on, on the handbook page. From the hiring perspective, uh, we implemented Lever and that's completely been rolled out. So all of our hiring managers and candidates are in that system now. Uh, Sasha and Chloe put together a great merge request for new user setup and what the implementation means for each person. So please take a look at that, it's been merged, so it's already in the handbook as well, but if you have any updates or any questions on the instructions um, or how to use Lever, this would be a great place to add those in. Q3 was a great quarter for hiring. We had 23 new hires in Q3, and uh, there's more coming in. Uh, there'll be a lot of new people at the summit, so we're very excited to welcome and meet everyone at that time. So our plans for the next, uh, next five weeks and the next uh, quarter. We are continuing our market data iteration of the compensation calculator. Um, this was hoped to be done by the end of Q3, but we're now changing that and adjusting it to the end of Q4 just based on different um, needs within people ops. But this is still a very high priority item. And we wanna make sure that what we, what we release is um, the best version of the comp calculator thus far. So if you want to have any updates on where we're at, um, please feel free to take a look at the issue and to also ask any questions. For the UK, uh, all of our employees in the UK, we are rolling out a pension scheme uh, for those employees. Uh, there is an open issue, Abby will be working uh, on this. She's posting updates as they come in. Uh, so please feel free to take a look at the issue as well as ask any questions you have on what that means for an employee in the UK, et cetera. In addition, we are going to be uh, finalizing our policies around different currencies for compensation. So there's some um, items or you know, currencies that we can't pay out of due to bank regulations or restrictions. Um, and so how, how we're gonna handle those and what our policy is um, will be outlined in this issue and the subsequent merger question there. We're hoping to have this wrapped up um, pretty soon. So that way there are no more um, questions about you know when we ch how we handle currencies etc. But if you have any questions or or you are affected by this, please feel free to reach out to People Ops um, if you don't hear anything from us within the next month or two. As I mentioned, we will be iterating on performance reviews, and so there's uh, the link again. Is it is you know a top plan of ours, and so we want um, any feedback that you haven't already submitted, uh, any thoughts that you might have, and um, our hope is to make two changes uh, each. Uh, iterations. So we'll make two more changes from the last iteration to this new iteration uh, and continuously improve the performance review process that way. Grovo also has a new um, platform, so we'll be migrating to their Delta version. Uh, this should happen with uh, by the end of Q4, and then we can reassess, you know, Grovo and, and different items within Grovo, the trainings. Uh, but if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Abby as she is leading that migration, as well as the rest of the People Ops team. From the hiring perspective, we're looking to bring on um, a recruiting director. So we've posted a job requisition for that, as well as additional recruiters. Uh, our pipeline is absolutely amazing with how many candidates are coming in. And so we, we would love to have any recommendations you have or referrals of people you know in these roles that would be great. Lastly, we're also gonna begin developing a diversity internship program. So bringing on interns within GitLab, um, and this is something that the People Ops team is looking to get a start on in Q4, and then also to roll out and really build out in 2018. So I would love to open it up to questions. Um, I will go ahead and stop sharing my screen so I can see the chat box. But please feel free to shout out any questions too as I'm going through chat. So Kim, um, oh, I think Barbara already answered your question, perfect. For 401k in the US, uh, that is something that we'll continuously look at. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, it's, it's not on our plans currently, but it might be one day. So it's just something that's a pending benefit that could happen. Oh, and yes, we are also looking, thank you, Bevy, we're also looking for business partners. Um, so if you know anyone, please send us those referrals as well. Interns can't get coffee for you, but they can do coffee breaks with you. So we encourage uh, everybody to continue having coffee breaks as well. Hey, Brittany, in the yes. um, career mapping that was in the, linked in the slides, it talks about marketing, but not sales. Is that right that 
it should be marketing that's included and sales is going to be next. Yes. So there's marketing that's and right. development that's listed out and then sales is kind of next on our, on our list, excuse me, of silos to go through so that we can make sure that we are um, hitting each entity or each um, division through the company as we go. Got it. Thank you. Oh, and yes, Clement, the UK pension scheme, this is a statutory requirement. So it is a little bit out of our hands to release this, um, but we are excited to release it. Um, when it comes to different benefits, though, this is decided by leadership. And so uh, we can open an issue and talk about any benefits that you would like, but we're going to first develop our guiding principles to see what um, we would like to, how our benefits are going to be created. And then it'll, uh, you'll, there'll be a little bit more clarification from there based on which entity has each benefit. I should say this is an auto enrollment scheme um, in the UK. It's a government led um, initiative as of 2012. So every employer in the UK has to provide a pension and by law there has to be a contribution um, which can be split between the employer and the employee and um, the contribution, it's not really matched. That's not really, it's not a fair um, comparison to make between a 401k in the US and what we have to do in the UK. So I just wanted to make that a bit clearer for everyone when we talk about matching, it's not quite the same thing, but I will update the issue. I have been sent just now um, a PDF with some more information about auto enrollment, what it means, how it works. So I will add that and then you can all take a look um, at that if you're interested. Thank you, Abby. And please keep the questions coming because any questions you have, we want to resolve either here or within the issue tracker or via email. Okay, so I'll do crickets one, crickets two. Can you elaborate more on the internship? Who is the target audience? Um, yeah, JC or Barbie, do you want to elaborate a little bit more on the internship? I can. Um, this is a really beginning stages, folks, and I don't think that it will roll out this year. We're going to begin development on it, but internship programs are the kind of thing that you have to get pretty far in front of if you want to get the best candidates. Um, the big companies who've been doing this for a long time are making their offers for summer interns in January, March at the latest. So we want to start getting some development on it. If we want to have interns in for next summer, then we need to actually start working on developing something now to position ourselves to do that. The focus really will be on helping to build our pipeline for diversity. Uh, so we want people from lots of different places, backgrounds, um, underrepresented minorities. It, you know, we really want to have this be a great funnel for, for diversity. One of the things I think is great about GitLab being a distributed co company, we don't have to just hire from specific areas with specific types of people. We can be much broader than that. And so I want to use this program to do that. And I want to also use it to energize the whole company around the idea of diversity and what this talent can do for us there. But I think that my bias is a little bit towards um, engineering and development. I don't know, we'll have to talk to each of the group leaders of whether or not sales and marketing would also benefit from this. I, I, I'm sure they would, but let's start small and the groups that are super passionate and super interested in bringing on interns should let us know. And we'll create an issue on this as we actually start to get to creating something. We have not even begun thinking about this in any kind of detail yet. So what I'm talking about right now is off the top of my head, really. Uh, so I think that as we do develop this, we'll open up the issue. We'll get the feedback from, from all of you and, and more. And then we'll try to start putting some little things in place that enable us to start putting our toes in the water for interns this summer. Yeah, Grace Hopper is wonderful. I do love Grace Hopper. And that's the kind of thing, Cindy, that I want us to really focus on. Like, what are those events? What are those schools that have the really great talent and are really investing in diversity on their campuses? Are there some historically black universities and colleges that we can go to in the US? Is there something like that outside of the US for uh, people not here? I don't want it to be completely US focused. I'm more familiar with the U universities in the US, but we'll be looking to all of you to tell us what the great ones are outside the US and, and help, us, help us build this. Thank you, Barbie. 
Uh, if there's no other questions, I'll give it another five, 10 seconds. All right, well, thank you all for attending the PeopleOps Functional Group Update and we'll see you in five weeks.